God's grace. God calls us to be baptized. I'm going to ask the Baptist, okay? <laughs> but sprinkle, pour, immerse, an infant or an adult, what's the biblical way to be baptized? Well, you know, as a Baptist, uh, I believe in believer's baptism. So I know that there's other types of uh, philosophies about baptism, but we believe in believer's baptism. And that is once a person accepts Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, that they should be baptized. And I think that that is evidence throughout the book of oh, Acts, yes. you know, as people believed that they accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Uh, now, as far as the, the, the mode of baptism, again, you know, as a Baptist, you know, I would believe in immersion. And my scriptural support is when Jesus got baptized, the Bible says that he came up out of the water. And then in another place, it said that John the Baptist was baptizing in John 3.23, that the reason, because there was much water there. And so, you know, if, you know, if you're sprinkling or pouring, you don't need much water. But if you're immersing, you know, you need much water. So I, never I believe, thought of that. There was yeah. a little bit of water there. They sprinkled yeah. everybody. But anyway. Right. Yeah. So, so I, I believe that the biblical example. Now, again, I know that through history, you know, because people were handicapped, you know, because people, there might have been a shortage of water. I was in places in Africa where they didn't have water, uh, you know, like abundance of water. So, you know, they, you know, I believe that pouring and sprinkling, you know, would be a, a preferred method. But I believe that if, if possible, the biblical model is immersion. Yeah. And, and the thing that we have to be careful of, is it the water? I, I believe, I, believe me, I believe every believer should be water baptized. But are we saying it, right. the water saves us? No. No, no. absolutely yeah, that, not. That, and I know there are some churches that will say it's the water. Now, if the water saves you, there's no need for a savior. Well, I tell people you can be baptized, capsized, and simonized, but that's not going to get you in the kingdom. <laughs> <He's a simonized. laughs> I like this. <laughs> so, pa Pastor Ray, could you give us a, sure. a, some more insight I'm on this? I'm probably the lone wolf on uh, infant baptism here, but um, I do believe that uh, infants can be baptized, and I believe in sprinkling as well, although I don't, have a, I don't have a choice on the mode. I'd be fine with immersion, but I don't think the Bible demands anything on that. I think, you know... Um, uh, the passage where Jesus goes down in the water uh, it, on another place, it says, well, Philip and the man went down into the water. So the man who baptized would have had to gone under too, if that's what it means. I think they just walked down to the water and he, he took a hyssop branch and he sprinkled them like they did in the Old Testament. But, uh, you know, of course, in the Old Testament, it was always sprinkling. Sprinkling made everything clean. And we, remember, we have to remember that the, the New Testament is based upon that. And I think baptism in particular um, replaces circumcision. And so, you know, for example, in Romans 4.11, uh, it says that Abraham received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had while uncircumcised, and yet God commands him to put that sign and seal on his children. In fact, on everyone bought in his house. And then in Colossians 2.11 and 12, it says that you have been circumcised with the circum circumcision of Christ, having been buried with him in baptism. So mm. baptism is the circumcision of Christ. The Jewish children were commanded to be circumcised because of their parents' faith. I believe that Christian children ought to be baptized because of their parents' faith. Same there, thing, because they're members of the covenant. Is there covenant. a spiritual significance or is it a symbolic when a child is is baptized. I think there is a significance in, the, in that God is saying this is a child of the covenant. 1 Corinthians 7.14 says that even, even the uh, children of one, only one believing parent are holy, God says. They're holy. What does that mean? Well, that means federally holy. They belong in the church. They're clean, so they should have the sign, and that's what baptism but ultimately is. there's no guarantee means. that that child is going to grow up to accept Christ. No, no, and you don't do it for that. You do it because they belong to the believer. Everything so it's that sort belongs of a to a dedication, me. kind of, a, or a, well, no, it's part of it, but it's a, it's from God. God commands, I think, baptism, and I think children are included in that, just like circumcision. If dedication yeah. wouldn't have been enough, you have to put the sign on the child. See, I believe that infant baptism. I, I see some of what you're saying. I think that infant baptism, it, it's. Kind of, a, for me, I don't think it's something that should be done because they don't have an ability to proclaim their faith yet. Exactly. But I do believe in dedication. I right. You dedicate right. your child oh, yeah. because they're oh, sanctified yeah. because of me. So I'm saying I'm going to set them apart. And so right. people say, I want to dedicate my children. I said, well, my question to them is, how are you going to live? Because right. your job is to model exactly. Christianity in a way that it becomes imparted into their life. But I feel that all baptisms are a product of you have received Christ into your heart, you've right. accepted him, and now you're participating in his death, burial, and resurrection. So that is where I believe the infant, people say, do you want to do a baptism of your baby? And I told them, no, I'm not going to yeah. do that, but I will do a dedication service right. for you saying you're going to raise them in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Right. And now, both 
a view over here said that a baptism is not necessarily for salvation. It's not salvific, in, right. in no. other words. A, is that? No, not at all. Not we don't okay. It's a sign yeah. and seal. But I want to ask this. So we baptize in, in Presbyterian Church because we believe the Bible commands it. We wouldn't dedicate because we don't see anywhere where the Bible says dedicate your children. When, when you guys but we do see examples. examples. Samuel. Well, we see examples. Well, they left yeah. them at the temple for three years. I, mean, and, and, but Jesus, <laughs> I don't want to believe in the kids. Like but Jesus, yeah. Jesus was dedicated. Yeah, but that's right. Jesus where does it say that? In Luke, uh, I have to go back and look. As a Luke. child? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. that his parents brought him oh. to the temple and dedicated him. That was when he offered the offering, the, the, the two turtle doves and so forth, when he's cleansed. Or do you mean oh. when, when at this bar mitzvah? But there's no like... No, not at the bar mitzvah, no. Well, uh, because he was, he's circumcised, we know that he's circumcised, and then she offers well, the offering. Uh, you know, the reason I ask about is self, there are denominations that teach that the ba baptism is like a necessary part of salvation, no, 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 no. and I don't, I don't see I mean, that in scripture. Or agree that. 